China wants to control us, and they want to do that by controlling our food supply. The Chinese Communist Party is not our friend. They're not our partner, and they're not our ally. They're our enemy. And that was South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem testifying in front of the House Agriculture Committee on Capitol Hill last week on China seeking to control the entire food supply chain in the United States. China already dominates the pork industry. All of this as a new TikTok post goes viral this week, featuring a Venezuelan national with over half a million followers telling migrants who cross the United States border illegally how to seize homes in America and invoke squatters' rights to unoccupied houses in America. One week after the House passed a bill to ban TikTok if it does not separate itself from the Chinese parent company ByteDance, no word on whether Majority Leader Chuck Schumer will actually bring that bill up for debate in the Senate. Joining me now with more on the threat from Communist China is the woman herself, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem. Governor, great to have you this morning. Thanks very much for being here. Thank, thank you for inviting me, Maria. Well, you've been adamant about protecting America's farmland, uh, certainly in your state, from mm -hmm. CCP influence. Tell us what you've seen and what kind of uh, behavior we should expect from the CCP should they own farmland in America. Well, what I, what I hope the American people realize is that the country that controls our food supply, they control us. And so it's incredibly important that we pay attention to what's been happening for decades. This is my 30th year of working on ag policy, food policy in the United States of America. And over those years, I've watched the CCP come in and buy up our fertilizer companies, our chemical companies. They've stolen our genetics. Uh, they've come in and bought up our processing systems. In fact, we've had programs where we've given CCP members and Chinese citizens citizenship in exchange for investment into our processing systems. And now they have dramatically increased the amount of purchases of ag land in the United States. That completes their control of our food supply chain, which means that the country that feeds us they will control us, and it's a national security issue. We need to care who our neighbors are, and not just because of how we feed ourselves, but also because a lot of times that ag land is right next to our national security interests. It's right next to our air bases, next to our military installations, where our platforms are, where they spy and steal information from us. Well, already Hong Kong and the CCP have passed new security laws, which many say uh, will uh, further erode civil liberties in America and any businesses mm -hmm. operating in China. Do you believe that American businesses, managers, CEOs understand the threat that you are referring to? I think they're starting to understand it, but I also think that they're under the control of the economics of doing business with China. And that's the problem, is so many of our businesses have gotten so dependent, and our farmers, through trade agreements and exports, have gotten so dependent on the market that is China and the size of it, that they need to really wake up and realize who does come first. Is it America and our safety, or is it the economics of really what we need to decide here we stand for. So that's what I think is so powerful about this conversation right now is that China is willing to put their people through inhumanities uh, in, in terrible situations in order to get what their agenda is. And their agenda is to become a world dominating power. The only thing that's standing in their way is America. And I wonder if Americans are even willing to be inconvenienced to make sure that we stay free and safe and protected here in the United States of America. China would never, they would never allow Americans to come over and buy their land. They don't even allow their own people to buy land in China. Why would we ever allow them to come to America and own our property and own land in the middle of the United States that they will use for nefarious actions to control us? So uh, I think America needs to wake up. We have our enemy among us. We have no idea how much land that they own. In South Dakota, we passed the strongest bill in the country to make sure that we're gonna have reporting and consequences to know if China and other evil foreign governments own our land, and then we'll be able to stop them and their agenda and make sure that America is always America and it always puts America first. So, so compare the state laws to the federal laws. You are passing the most important uh, regulations for your state, but do you want to see tighter regulations on a federal level? Tell us the difference between those two regulatory backdrops, state versus federal. Well, we have seen a CFIUS model at the federal level that 
has been ineffective at telling us really what is owned as far as property and what the vetting process is. And in fact, they've told us that they don't have authority in this area. So I do know that there are some U.S. senators that are working to expand that authority. But when's the last time you really saw the federal government go forward and really fix anything? So I'd like governors to have more of a role in this. I think it's important governors pass laws to give more reporting requirements and some consequences if evil foreign governments come in and purchase up our assets. Uh, we can have that kind of a review process and model at the state level. Uh, we had a law in the books uh, for many, many years, but we added teeth to it this year that uh, made sure we reported those land purchases, and we're going to continue to strengthen that. But having a CFIUS model that reviews these real estate transactions is incredibly important. It's just that at the federal level, it's not been effective, and it hasn't stopped China from coming in and buying up our assets. How much farmland does China own already in this country? And, I mean, we saw the impact of COVID and how that ripped through the world so mm -hmm. fast. Do you worry about potential taintings in our food? Is our food safe? Our food is safe, and it's safe right now because we have decided we have a farm bill, and I would encourage Congress to pass a farm bill because that's our safety net that keeps our farmers in business. Uh, and we wanted every single person in this country to have an affordable food supply. So that safety net makes sure that it is produced here in the United States, that it is safe and it's affordable for every single family. The more we allow China to buy up the assets that produce that food, the more dangerous it becomes. So we have of to take course. action now and we need to be strong and make sure that we keep our priorities straight in producing and providing our own food supply in this country. Governor, thank you so much. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem. And be sure to check out the governor's forthcoming book, No Going Back, which is slated to be released this May. Governor, congrats on the new book. We'll be watching. Good to see you this morning. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.